Hey everyone, it's the Math Sorcerer here. I just wanted to make a video talking about one of the most famous abstract algebra books in existence. The book is Algebra by the prolific Serge Lang. Uh, this is the third edition. Uh, this is a big book. It's one of the Springer books, so it's, you know, it's huge. I mean, let me turn it over so you see how thick this book is. Uh, this thing is a beast. And this is the book on abstract algebra. If you were able to actually learn all of the material in this book, you would be an abstract algebra god. I mean, the amount of math in this book is just unreal. Uh, let's take a look inside. Okay, so this is the table of contents for this book. Okay, so chapter one is on groups. So he does groups in one chapter. So it looks like he starts with monoids, right? Very, very different from what you see in other books. That's on page three. And then, I mean, look at this. Categories and functors, free groups. So he does all of group theory uh, in, what, 63 pages? 66 minus three or so. So from page three to page 66, he does all of group theory. Then rings are page 83 to page 111. Then he has a whole chapter on modules, right? An entire chapter on modules. Then he goes over polynomials, talks about even the a the ABC conjecture. I mean, what um, math book does that? <laughs> uh, algebraic extensions, Galois theory, extensions of rings, transcendental extensions, algebraic spaces, Noetherian rings. I love Noetherian rings. I should make some videos on that. Talks about Nax lemma, Nakayama's lemma, very, very famous uh, lemma. Uh, real fields absolute values, and then part three is linear algebra and representations. Keeps going, right? Structure of bilinear forms, the tensor product, semi-simplicity, okay? Representations of finite groups, alternating products, homological algebra. Look at this, general homology theory, finite free resolutions. So the exercises in this book are completely insane. Serge Lang has an incredible amount of exercises. Um, let's see, we're up to 55. This is for the first chapter on groups. Let's turn the page, see if there's anything else. goes all the way to 57. So this book is, again, extremely, extremely comprehensive. Uh, it is definitely a book worth owning if you are studying mathematics. Um, it, again, it is the most comprehensive book in existence on abstract algebra. And again, if you knew all of this information, uh, you would be producing, you, you could produce research easily, I think, at the, uh, at the PhD level. I mean, this is just a ridiculous amount of, of mathematics. Um, I don't personally know anyone who knows everything in this book. I don't know if that's possible. Um, it, maybe it is. I certainly don't know everything in this book. So an amazing book. Uh, again, it's Algebra by Lang. Again, it is the algebra book, the most comprehensive source uh, in the world.